the headaches uh, when you're home are pretty much nonstop. Um, they're, they're awful. Residents in East Palestine were given the first opportunity today to sign up for health clinics. This comes more than two weeks after a Norfolk Southern train derailed that spilled and burned off toxic chemicals. Since then, residents have been reporting a growing number of health issues. Our Brian Somerville was there today talking to residents who have been signing up. He is there tonight with the latest. Brian. Well, Andrew, good evening to you. Well, first, I want to show you what we are looking at here tonight just across the road still here this devastation this is where the cleanup was happening all day today and has been happening the better part of this month my photographer bill price is your eyes right now so for the last three weeks people living here in east palestine specifically the people who live close to where this derailment happened they tell me they are fearful they are fearful for their health and their safety and no matter all of the reassurances that they have heard from the governor's office, Ohio Department of Health, EPA, US EPA, they tell me they feel like they are being lied to, or at the very least, they are not being told the whole truth. Brenda Foster didn't hear it. She saw it. That's all you saw. The whole sky was just glowing. Her house in East Palestine considered ground zero in relation to the Norfolk Southern train that derailed earlier this month. She was evacuated. When she came back, she says she believes the water is safe. The air is a different story because every day it's different. Following the incident, she says she had a cough and itchy eyes. All the while, she thinks communication. I don't think we have enough information. I think we need some more information. Has been lacking. I'll show you. Courtney Miller also lives near the crash. And I go right here. With a flick of a stick, she brings to the surface both chemicals and a good point. Well, according to um, DeWine and the EPA, there's nothing wrong with the water or the air quality. Chemicals from the crash have caused nearby fish to die. Since the derailment, I haven't let my kids step foot in East Palestine. Despite repeated assurances from officials that air and water testing posed no threats and no signs of contaminants, people here have complained of headaches and irritated eyes. The governor, obviously, EPA, US EPA, that they have your best interest at heart right now? Of course not. Of course not. Absolutely not. Do you think enough is being done for your safety? Well. <laughs> I guess I'm not, I, I think that they need to test the soil. I think just the air is not quite enough. They need to come in and test people's belongings. And one thing you notice being in East Palestine, no time at all, again, this is our first day here, the trains. So many trains continue to go through this area like clockwork, some of them 25, 30 minutes apart. One literally just went by 10 minutes before we came to air. And I was talking to residents and they tell me that that concerns them. They worry that these trains could be irritating that soil underneath where the derailment happened. And I did talk to EPA today. They tell me that it continues to test, among other things, soil samples from where that crash happened. Reporting live in East Palestine tonight, Brian Somerville, 10TV News.